Take a moment right here Feeling like a sub gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear It's Medica and I am here with a new video. Long awaited, like, sketchbook update. Not really, but I've got a little bit. I didn't finish this sketchbook as you can see. There's like a lot of blank pages, but there's a good chunk that I finished. Here, I'll show you. If I can move the friggin' toned paper. Basically, I finished up to this point where this toned paper is in the sketchbook, but yeah. But yeah, we're gonna flip through this and such, and I forgot to pause my music that I'm listening to. But yeah, we're gonna flip through this. Basically, the front is just covered in, like, amphibian and reptile stickers that I found at the dollar store, and then a singular sticker from Nyrell that I think she gave me in my birthday package? Or was it in the commission package that she sent me? I don't remember. She gave me an Ico sticker, but yeah, so I found a spot on there for it. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna get into this. It shouldn't hopefully be too long, because it's not a lot of pages but yeah so the first drawing is of my character Shiro I wanted to give four of my characters like another hobby other than being in the circus because four of my OCs are in the circus like they perform but they also have like a hobby outside of the circus and you wouldn't expect it from Shiro who looks like a cutie patootie but he likes break dancing <laughs> or at least just dancing in general normally he's a jester but yeah and then this is when I was, <laughs> I had made a Kingdom Hearts character, which I think I've shown before on, like, a previous update. But yeah, I decided to, like, design, like, what she'd look like if she was in, like, Kingdom Hearts 3 and other Kingdom Hearts games. Because she is a Kingdom Hearts character. But this is what she would look like if she was in Monsters, Inc. It, it resembles Sora a lot. But yeah, her name's Olivia, if you're curious. And then this is her King Hearts 2 outfit, because she, her story takes place, like, it starts at the beginning of the series, or at least Kingdom Hearts 1, and then, yeah, and onward. And then this is her King Hearts 3 outfit, I really like how it came out. And then this is her Halloween Town outfit, she's a kitty, because <laughs> she's extra cute. And then Atlantica. And then I was, I was gonna cosplay, like, a female version of Sora for a con I have in, like, at the time of this recording in about two weeks. But stuff came up and I just didn't have the funds to do it, so. But this is the concept I came up with. Just a simple sketch. And then I was trying to come up with a new outfit for my character Echo here. I didn't end up liking this. I liked her shoes, though, so I kept those, I believe. And I was like, eh, I can do better. <laughs> then this is a character I created for a friend of mine. He wanted me to create like a little mascot for his cosplay stuff. And I made him a little squirrel character. And I was trying to design a human version of him and such. And that was like the first concept. I didn't like it. And then this is another... This is a newer character. He's part of my Danganronpa, like, cast of characters. He's newer. He's my, like, ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark. The secret talent that I don't believe I, I wrote in here. If I did, I'll cut it out. But, yeah. I don't think I did. And then, relax, people. It's just clothing, so get over it. But this is a, a character I created for a friend of mine. Her name's Luna. And I drew her in some lingerie because the one friend does like to do like an occasional like not risque but like more like sexier cosplays every so often for specific for very specific characters and she eventually wants to cosplay her character Luna here I hate how the feet turned out so we're just not look at the feet but then I was like I'll create a cute little risk sexy ish version of Oh yeah, here's where it was. I put this spoilery stuff, but I made sure to cover up. So here's Izumo again. I forgot to mention his name's Izumo, and here he is. Again, I don't like how the f I just was. 
the sketchbook, I was terrible with feet, the skin, like at least just shoes, but that's Izumu. I really like how he's turned, he turned out. He's super cute. And his, his last name has changed now, I believe. He's actually like the brother of my main, like, protagonist-esque character, Hattori. Such, speaking of Hattori, here he is. <laughs> Here's Hattori. So they're actually brothers. And I think my kitty has come to, has graced us with her presence. Yeah, so that's a Tori. Hello, kitty. Why are you bothering me? <laughs> I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> oh, stop it. Anyways, this is my OC Ruin. He's a vampire. Him and his sister have to wear these special necklaces that suppress, like, they have, like, a, a pouch. I've got <laughs> stuff on my finger, but... From the, from the pencil, but if their powers, like, because they have powers, because they have, like, demon-esque powers, because they're vampires, and it can get out of hand if they don't have these special crystals. So, yeah, so that's Ruin, and then here's his little sister, Seto. I like how this, like, knee-up, like, shot of Seto came out. She's also a messenger throughout the demon world. And she takes messages to the human world as well. But when she does that, she has to pose as a boy because it's like a tradition in her family that at least one person in the family takes on this messenger role. They are royalty, but that is like a special role that they take. And it's sadly, in their world, it's only meant for men. And Ruin is the next heir to the family, so he can't do it. So, to keep up, like, the tradition and stuff, Seto poses as a boy when she's doing their messenger thing. Yeah. And then here's two of my... I have a lot of OCs. Just keep that in mind. I have a lot of OCs. I drew Takashi and Meito. They're two of my, like, probably, like, oldest OCs. Because I'm... I think I've mentioned, but I remember seeing them in a dream. <laughs> but yeah. And then, terrible profile. I am, ugh, we're not going to look at that. <laughs> and then I was also drawing my OC Josh. Why are you playing with stuff on the floor, kitty? <laughs> and then here's my OC Jaden. He used to be a friend's OC, but that friend has decided just not to talk to me anymore, but... We're not going to get into that, so he's just mine now. And his name's Jaden. He's a uh, Josh's boyfriend. And we have another OC of mine who is Gurge, which literally just means jellyfish. So his name is technically Jellyfish, and he's a jellyfish boy. And he's a, he's the same species. He's a similar species as uh, the character Luna you saw before. It's my own, like, original species I made up called the Lumini, if I remember. It's been a while since I drew them, but yeah. They're called the Lumina. And here is the squirrel character that I mentioned. His name is Zekiel. And this is his full, like, design. I tweaked his hair up a bit, made him more, like, shaggy. And tousled and everything. And he's a squirrel boy. And he's super adorable. And my friend loves him. And this is when I was playing, um... Story of Seasons? Yeah, Story of Seasons. And... I was, I get, like, I get to a point where I'm, like, super into the game and then I, into a game and then I put it down. But, yeah, this is when I was really enjoying playing Story of Seasons. I still do, it's just I haven't played it in a little bit. But I recently just become, like, I got my character to become boyfriend and girlfriend with Hinata here. He's one of the bachelors in that game. And I really like him. He's super adorable and funny. And then here's an OC of mine. This, this, this sketchbook was filled with lots of OCs, but yeah. This is my OC, uh, Rinji. I didn't write his name here. That, that's why like I blanked there for a minute. But this is Rinji. He's one of my My Hero Academia OCs. And I hit the camera, but he his quirk is is called like glitched or glitch or whatever. I think it's I think I just called it glitch, but he can like Basically, like, as you can see, like, his body, like, is kind of made up of, like, pixels and stuff, but he can, like, 
move his hand around and he can like glitch out and stuff and dart across everywhere and stuff. It's really neat. I didn't come up with it, keep in mind. I found it like through like a generator or whatever. So yeah. And then here's his girly friend. This is Ritsu, who's my other My Hero Academia character. And they're both in their hero outfits. And Ritsu's quirk is called Octopus. Basically, she can like morph into have morph her limbs into octopus like tentacles and stuff, and she can like swim really well and such. And yeah, basically anything like a ho an octopus can do. So yeah, <laughs> and they're super cute together. Here's my OC Logan. Nothing too special about him. He works at a cafe, which is filled with filled with traps. If you know what a trap is, if you're into anime, you know what a trap is. If you don't, it's just a, a dude who dresses as a girl. And then this is when I was trying to think of a design for one of my elf OCs. I think this is the design I went with. I'm not entirely, I can't remember. I haven't drawn them in a while. And here I was trying to draw my OC Elaine and I didn't like how it turned out. Her neck looked like way too thick for, for her. And then here are two characters of mine. This is Wolfram and Yosuke. They were originally just random characters for like some like thing my friend had set up, but it just died. So I was like, I'll make them into Pokemon OCs because I don't have Pokemon OCs yet. And yeah, so there's I have three of them. So there's Wolfram, Yosuke, and then they have a third friend whose name is Charlotte, which I think you'll see in this. Yeah. I did draw her in this, but yeah. And Yosuke likes uh, monkey, like kind of like monkey Pokemon. So anything that resembles a monkey, he loves. Because he was originally half monkey, so I just made him human, and now he likes monkey Pokemon. And Wolfram likes rock, or not rock Pokemon. He his favorite type is rock, but he likes like dog-like Pokemon. And here's a full body. Okay. And then this is my OC Mato again in a chibi form. And this was when the Pokemon announced Sword and Shield. I was so excited. I need those games in my face right now, but that's besides the point. Grookey is my favorite start is my favorite of the starters. And I had to draw him. And I can't wait for this game to come out because Grookey, regardless of his evolutions, is gonna be my pick. I love him. Like look at this boy. Look at him. <laughs> and or if it's a girl, depending on what gender I get. But look at how cute Grookey is. <laughs> And then this was an idea and a concept because a friend of mine wants me to do some channel art for her and I'm still trying to like think of like a concept. I'm just like so stumped right now. But yeah. And oh yes, here's Charlotte. She doesn't look like this anymore. She now just has like the bangs and everything the same but she just has one bun and it doesn't have this like long thing. But yeah. And then this was a commission for an emote. Basically, it just looks like this, but it has a these these glass these XG glasses on them. It's a whole running joke with the guy. So yeah. Okay, sorry about the cut there. I had my phone filled up with space, or at least it was about to. So I just figured I'd get the clip off and whatever. But yeah, so yeah, this was a commission. It was like a Twitch emote commission. But yeah, next drawing is of. A character who belongs to a streamer I watch every so often. Her name is Lucyrus. She streams. She used to stream on Twitch, but she streams on Mixer now. And this is her little character, Venus. This used to be the mascot of her channel, but she's like recently changed up her like theme. And yeah, but this is still her character, Venus. She's basically just a humanized Venus flytrap, and she's super cute. She's got like mint green hair, and she wears a little black dress. And some. Uh, Shin Hai Lu, but yeah. And then Narel went and showed me a certain character from the anime Kiz Niver, which is Hisa Hisamu, I believe. I'll probably put his name like right here or something if I'm because I can never read my writing sometimes. But I decided to sketch him, and then I also sketched her favorite boy Tenga, who's right here. There you go, Narel. There he is. But yeah, when I originally showed her this, she like died. <laughs> but 
And then I think this is, yeah, this is for my Twitch, like, stuff when I can eventually get back to streaming because I miss it. It was fun when I did my art streams and stuff, but just trying to think of a theme. And this was when I was still using, like, Choo Choo as my mascot, which is right here. He's my little, little jelly octopus character thing. But yeah, I was trying to think of a sub badge, and then this was going to be my, like, offline screen. They have their bagel plushie, and this is... Choo-Choo's little sister Michi, they're both little jelly octopus things, and I, I actually have crocheted plushies of them, which are just over there, off screen. But yeah, a friend made those for me. And then, <laughs> I forgot about this page, but my friend drew on a page. This is my friend Connor, he drew on this page. Yeah, he made his like a little Pokemon and stuff, and then a random. I was trying to draw a face, and then he decided to sketch over it, but yeah, that's his page. And then this, I was drawing my some of my Dangarampa characters. I hate how this has turned out. I, or I hate how this turned out. I like uh, Naomi here. So this is my doll maker and my bartender, Takano and Naomi. I like how this came out, but her eyes kind of funky. <laughs> like this eye specifically. Oh yeah. I decided to change up her hair. She used to have her hair tied on a pony, but I changed it to have her hair down. And she still has her little eyeball pin clip thing. But here's another character of mine. This is another Dangarapa character. This is Mitsui. She's like my quote unquote female protagonist. Like air quotes on that. But that's Mitsui. She's a fashion designer. And she's super cute. I've noticed that my draw my art has started to get like <laughs> on that Sailor Moon-esque where they have really long legs. Funny thing is, I don't, I never really watched Sailor Moon. And I'm not, like, the, like, I know of it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But, yeah. And then here's Gensai, who's my ultimate prince. He's a little asshole. A little, like, Sundra asshole. <laughs> and then here is, this character is Cross. She... I made her for a friend of mine who has a cosplay channel. I'll link it below because she's she's just starting out in a little YouTube channel and she's she's got some funny videos. She's super awesome. So I'll, li I'll leave her link below. But this is her character Cross. It's super cute. She's a wolf girl. And she has two ferrets. Two pet ferrets which are based off of... Ah! <laughs> which are based off my friend's actual pet ferrets. In real life. So yeah. And, oh, and that's it. Yep, this was the last picture. So yeah. That's it for this sketchbook. Or at least what I finished in it. I don't, I think, I believe the reason I didn't finish this is because it's just really small. As you can see, the sketchbook that I'm currently in behind it is, much, is slightly bigger. I prefer to draw in a bigger sketchbook because my hands have more room on the paper and stuff and it's not like... Like, I'm not like drawing like this where my hands like falling off the book, but yeah. So the next sketch, but bleh, I can't talk. The next sketchbook when I finish it will be this one. It's covered in the stickers Nyrell gave me from my or er, her package she sent me that finally arrived. I don't know if this video will go up before that. Whichever one goes up first, yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be the unboxing and then this one but yeah so this one will be next the only sneak peek you get is that and that's it <laughs> but yeah that was the sketchbook so i will see you guys in my next video leave a like if you like the video leave a comment down below because i love reading them share this video with a friend if you think someone else will enjoy it and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye my little bagels